I want to take a moment to talk about the stock market because I know that everyone's worried and I feel like a lot of people are thinking that um, the stock market is going to completely co collapse because no one's traveling for coronavirus because of the coronavirus and that's going to kill the hotel industry, which is going to have a ripple effect on the real estate industry in large cities, which can have a, a, a ripple effect on the entire housing market, which can result in uh, the collapse of the housing market, um, which can reveal the there's another housing bubble. Um, and, and in addition to that, there are, there's very, there are a lot of concerns about corporate debt because all these corporations have been encouraged to, um, take a lot of loans and expand. And just cause you're expanding doesn't mean that you're profitable. And then there's all this concern about China because there are like a massive amount of loans that were given out to small businesses. Like think about how many restaurants and stuff like that there are in China, 1.5 billion people, all these small businesses because they've encouraged the private sector so much in China. Like, but not, not, they, they, they put, they don't let Americans come in, but they have actually encouraged Chinese people to start their own businesses. It's been a big part of, um, I, I, I believe it was since, uh, Hu Jintao, they were really pushing that. Um, it's okay. So, um, all, what I'm saying is China's worried about all these defaults on debt. And also, I mean, and that's in addition to like the fact that China has more stockbrokers than entire countries. Like it's like the entire population of a country is how many stockbrokers there are in China. And so these people are freaking out because they're going, dude, what's happening to our stock market? And, um, and then, okay. So there are a lot of problems with, with, with the economy, but at the same time, um, I feel like in some places it seems like coronavirus is worse. And in some places coronavirus is not as bad. Like in, in South Korea, um, they, they're having a 0.73% 0.73% death rate. So it's less than 1% death rate, which is actually closer to the common f to, to the flu. Um, so, um, in other places, there's a higher death, there are higher death rates. Uh, it seems like, uh, Italy's getting hit pretty hard. Uh, okay. So, um, the coronavirus might be more like the flu, but it sure seems like it's not because of the 20% of people that have serious pneumonia type respiratory type, type issues and they end up hospitalized. So, um, just cause the coronavirus doesn't kill you doesn't mean it won't hurt you pretty bad. Um, so, but the point I'm trying to make is like, I don't think the coronavirus has to define our economy and, um, I, 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 I feel like there's been a lot of panic because of it, especially because of the oil business now, because all oil companies are not profitable at $30 a barrel in the United States. I'm pretty sure that we're profitable at about $55 a barrel for fracking. So it doesn't even make sense to frack it at $30 a barrel, but, um, it makes sense that our, but, but like with offshore drilling, we're never going to shut it down because offshore drilling, you don't shut it down because it takes so long to put those wells into production. So, um, but fracking, we do shut down. And so, um, at some point there's, there's a real question. Is it okay if we import oil because the prices of oil are so low? Yes. As long as it doesn't hurt our economy. And if it, so, so like I have no problem leaving it in the ground here. If okay, I, I know I'm covered, do, do you understand that? Like when I'm talking about economics, I'm like, well, let me tell you about like whether or not we're going to have a recession or not. And then I'm like, well, and then I have to cover everything. So I can't even talk about the topic. So anyways, um, okay. So what I'm trying to say is if we are having problems with, um, being able with, with our currency because of, um, we're purchasing, purchasing so much foreign oil, then we, um, might need to up production, which means that we need a stimulus from the government for the oil business, um, to encourage more like fracking type stuff in the United States. Um, but if not, then I have no problem with importing oil. So if we have to reduce production cause it's not profitable in the oil business, I think that's fine. I don't think that reduced oil prices are economy killer. And I don't think that's an economy killer. Um, I think that no matter what we someday are going to have to plan for a world without the oil business at all. And so I think that, um, if like, if, when that's the case, um, um, you just, you have to, you, you can't like try to save a, a, an industry, an industry, an industry like that. Um, that if it doesn't need to be saved, but at the same time, uh, you might need to, um, someday, but as long as it's, it's good for our economy to import oil, I say we import oil.
All right. So is our economy going to collapse? I think it's actually about um, whether or not people can get confidence again. And I think that people, um, I think that Robert Schiller says that um, the prices of stocks are pretty reasonable right now. Uh, I think he knows more than me. And um, I think Kudlow knows more than me. And he thinks the price of stocks are pretty reasonable. And so um, does that mean I'm going to buy maybe in like, <laughs> maybe in like a month? Honestly, honestly, I, I, I sold my stock. I sold a hundred dollars worth of match.com. <laughs> like, like, uh, how long ago? Not very long ago. Um, so yeah, I'm, I don't know. Um, I, I'm, 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 I'm going to stay out for a little bit, honestly, um, uh, me, but, uh, cause I don't want to risk my hundred dollars. Actually, I just don't, I, I, I think it's, I think we're going to experience some more volatility. Um, so anyways, I think, but what I was actually trying to say is that I think that the economy will stabilize, and I think that Trump's actually doing a good job with the payroll tax thing, um, like saying that he's going to cut payroll tax. That's very smart, uh, and it might save save a lot of these businesses. Um, but I think more than anything, during the coronavirus, we almost need a universal living wage type stimulus because it's like stay home, I'll pay you to stay home for a little while until this whole thing passes over. Um, that's what I think the goal should, I, I, that's what I think a smart response would be more than, um, decreasing payroll tax. But I understand that you would decrease the payroll tax because, uh, you don't want these companies to go bankrupt because all these people that have given loans, they're, they're bought stock, but they're actually like kind of loaning money to these companies and then they want to take it out when it's high. And then the company, uh, you, 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 the company needs money. They need like reducing the payroll tax would add liquidity to the companies. So I agree that's smart. Okay. I, I'm talking a lot. Um, the last thing I want to talk about is um, how I've talked about Muslims in the past. I, I've, I, I feel so bad about it sometimes because, like, when I was in Egypt, all my best friends were were were, were Muslims, and um, I was I, I when I when I got there, I, I made a decision. I was like, I'm going to be friends with the Egyptians. I'm not going to be friends with Americans, and so, um, so all of them were were Muslims, and I feel really bad about the things I've said in the past. And I, I just want to know, want them to know, like it, I live with super duper Christian people. I don't sit there and judge them. And I'm around Christians all the time. I don't judge them. I'm a, I'm a, I'm very attracted to Christian women. And, um, even though I'm an atheist, just because I, I think there's something about like their relationship with God that makes them like, I don't know. It makes them like desire to be good. And I, I like that. Like the, the, the desire to be good. Like I want to be good. I feel like I'm a, I'm not good at all. Like I, I want to be good. And I, I, the more I, the older I get, the more I realize, gosh, I'm not a good person. Um, but I think I am because I try because I try to be a good person. And I do have a conscience, but man, I make bad decisions. Um, anyways, so I just want to say, I'm sorry, um, to all the Muslims. I, 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 I've, I've been equally critical of Christianity. Um, but, um, it's, I still feel like it's, it's uncomfortable that I've been so mean, but, um, yeah. So I think the economy can, it can stabilize. Um, it might take a little bit. Um, but, um, I don't know if it will because I, I think everyone's kind of freaking out right now. Um, there are a lot of people that, uh, have built their castle on, uh, cryptocurrency and, and like bullshit bets. And, um, you know, that's, uh, that's sometimes the way to make money, but it doesn't mean that it's going to turn out good in the long term.